once you have a database created, then you can do all kinds of things with it. Uh, you can analyze it, uh, you can uh, move it, uh, you can edit it, uh, that, 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 that there's really an unlimited number of things that you can do. Uh, the data that exists on paper and pencil, to be honest with you, is clumsy. It's not agile at all. And by putting your text on a, on a database, you, that's where you start to uh, reap the benefits of being agile with your data. So uh, uh, certainly in a migration uh, process, uh, uh, agility is, is one of the factors uh, that makes the, the, the process viable. I, I have some good news for you and I have some bad news for you. So let me give you the, the bad news first is, uh, in terms of an automated way to handle handwriting, uh, I'm not aware of any uh, software in the marketplace uh, where that exists. And, and by the way, we have looked, we, we, this is not the first time that question has come up uh, and we, we have looked, but handwriting is so variable that it's it's really difficult uh, to to have any automation of it. That's the bad news. Now let me give you some good news. Uh, uh, if you if you have handwriting, uh, uh, you can transcribe it. You can get a person to sit there and read it and uh, uh, and put it into an electronic format. Uh, that's a tedious thing to do, but it can be done, and there are people that have done it. But another piece of really good news is, uh, 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 is uh, th there is technology out there uh, uh, from a company called Nuance. Nuance has a uh, package uh, called Dragon, which you can look up, uh, uh, in which Dragon is on the doctor's uh, chest. It's it's a it's a little microphone that the doctor wears like a necklace, and 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 then uh, the doctor speaks into uh, the microphone, uh, and then the microphone through the Dragon technology uh, takes the information and automatically converts it to electronic text, so that it's never uh, handwritten. The bad news is no, I'm not aware of anybody that can handle. Uh, uh, handwritten text, uh, but there are people uh, th that can do the transcription for you, uh, uh, and and there is nuance, uh, which is a good solution as well. Comparing textual ETL to natural language processing is kind of like comparing a bicycle to a Porsche. Uh, yes, they both can have transportation. Yes, they both have wheels, uh, but there the similarity between a bicycle and a Porsche ends. That uh, uh, for, and, and I don't know if you want me to go into the reasons, but there's a lot of things that NLP doesn't do that textual ETL does do. Uh, the number one thing uh, is textual ETL looks at and manages context of information. And so we, uh, we, we spend a lot of effort and a lot of time uh, understanding the context of text. And, and that's the number one reason. The number two difference between NLP and textual ETL is that for the most part, NLP is designed for uh, the end user to do a lot of work and go through a lot of complicated uh, steps. Uh, textual ETL is different. Uh, we don't want the end user to have to go through uh, a, a lot of difficult steps. We want to have the technology do these things for them themselves. So you're gonna find that textual ETL is much easier to install, much less expensive, much easier to use 
uh, and much easier to get results out of. So uh, those are two differences between NLP and textual ETL. We do what you're suggesting through something called a taxonomy. And our taxonomy for medical systems is, uh, is, is very robust. Uh, so uh, we can simply take your record, pass it through textual ETL in our taxonomy and get results. And can we, can we do it? We can do it today. If you wanted to give me the, uh, the records this afternoon, I could have you the results by, by this evening. Uh, we don't need to do anything with that. Uh, 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 now, now, if we go off into a very specialized form of medicine, uh, uh, we probably are going to have to spend a little bit of time adjusting our taxonomy. But we typically do this in, in, in a matter of two to three hours, not days or months or anything like that. Uh, uh, as far as the terminology that we use, uh, we use the terminology that's typically found in, in hospitals. Uh, that's where our taxonomies were created from. Uh, and as such, we are consistent with things like SNOMED, uh, 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 and other medical sources of information.